Na Pawa lives in a small village with her mother and younger sister in the country of Myanmar. She has always had a passion for fashion. Even as a small child, she would cut up scraps of material and make dresses for her dolls. As long as she can remember, Na Pa has had a dream of one day becoming a designer of beautiful dresses. But for many years, it did not look like she would ever be able to reach her dream. She was not sure she would even be able to ever work as a seamstress. When Na Pa was just two years old, she fell sick and had a high fever for several days. After she recovered, her mother noticed that she had stopped talking. She seemed to be suddenly lost in her own small world. It was only later that her mother discovered that Na Pa had lost her hearing because of the high fever. Not able to hear the people around her, little Na Pa never learned to talk. When she was six years old, her mother tried to send her to school. She hoped that by going to school and making new friends, Na Pa would learn many new things that would help her in life. Sadly, when the teachers found out that she could not hear, they sent her home. They told her mother that there was nothing that they could do to help her. They said, she can't hear. How could she ever learn anything? Napa's mother was very poor and did not have the money to send her far away to a special boarding school for the deaf. And so Napa spent most of her time at home, helping her mother with the household chores. She also looked after her baby sister so that her mother could sell vegetables in the market to make money for the family. Her sister had health problems as well and needed special care. Whenever her sister was sad, Na Pa would dance for her and it would make her feel better. Na Pa still clung to her hope of one day learning to sew and becoming a dress designer, but it wasn't looking good for her dream to come true. She had no education, no training, no sewing machine, and no money. Then one day, everything changed for Napa. Her mother told us the story. I heard about this school that had been built near our village by Adra, Norway. The school was teaching young people skills that would help them get jobs or start their own business. I learned that one of the skills they were teaching was how to sew. This would be perfect for Na Pa, I thought. But what are the chances that she would be able to attend? She had no education, she had the hearing disability, and I had no money for school fees. But then to my surprise, I found out that the school had a priority of accepting young people with disabilities. They were looking to help people who had not been able to go to school. And the tuition was free. We applied, she was accepted into the program, and Na Pa started going to class every day. I was so happy for her. Every day I would walk with her to the river, where she would get a water taxi to cross over the river to the town where the school had been built. They were even able to cover the cost of transportation to school every day. I know that this was her dream, but it was like a dream come true for me as well to see my little girl finally going to school to learn how to sew. And she did so well in her classes. She made so many new friends there. The teachers were so kind and wonderful. They were all very impressed with my Napa. Napawa has been an excellent student. 
She took the basic course and did very well at that, so we invited her to join the advanced class. At first, I thought I would have to spend a lot of time teaching her one-on-one -on -one because of her disability, but I discovered that she learned fast and finished her assignments quickly ahead of everyone else. While the other students were still working on their assignments, she was making clothes from her own designs. She is a real natural. When we first met Nanpa, we did not know that she couldn't talk or that she had a hearing disability. She soon became very popular at the school. We were all very interested to see how she would be able to learn, or even how the instructors would be able to teach her. We all think that she is a very smart girl, very clever. We have all been amazed at how well she has done. While the rest of us were learning how to make clothes by following patterns, she was making her own designs. I never thought that Napa would be able to open her own business. Adra helped us to get a sewing machine and encouraged us to open our own shop. It has been so successful that I have been able to quit my job selling vegetables in the market. I have been able to pay off all of my debts. I am now working full time with my daughter. Now I am the one that cooks and cleans, so she has time to work on the clothes and fill all the orders that are coming in. Napa has seen her dream come true. She now spends her days sewing dresses for the people of her village. Napa what? People will show her a dress that they have seen in a magazine or on the internet and ask her if she can make them one just like it. Of course, she's happy to. She takes their measurements and marks them down in her book, just like she learned in her class. Her customers are delighted. The dresses that they find in the stores in town don't always fit very well, but the dresses that Nalpa makes for them are made to fit them perfectly. Nalpa loves her new life, making clothes for her friends and neighbors, and whenever she gets the chance, she works on her own designs. Just like she dreamed when she was making clothes for her dolls, she is now a designer of beautiful dresses. One of the ways that Napa communicates with her family and friends is through gestures and dance. Napa wanted to express her joy and thanks to the children of Norway for helping her catch her dream. If she could, she would come to Norway and dance for you, but since that is not possible, she sends her thanks by dancing for you by the banyan tree near her home in a country far away, but close to our hearts, Myanmar.